It truly was love at first sight. They had an immediate spark. Although Amanda had certainly made the first move, Oren was beyond smitten. He remembers thinking to himself, all right, Oren, don't screw this up. <laughs> at the end of that night, he updated his Facebook status to, she's right, she changed my life. Which Eating some watermelon. That was the end of the status. <laughs> Eating some watermelon. That's good. Both got a strong hint. This was the start of a special relationship. Uh, Amanda and I have known each other since kindergarten. We both grew up with only brothers, so she quickly became the sister that I always wanted and needed. <laughs> I'm truly lucky to have found a best friend who is so caring and loyal. She has been so inspiring and encouraging for me in all of these years, and I really don't know what I'd do without you. It's been an absolute honor to watch my best friend grow up with the person that she's loved since day one. Watching the two of them grow, Amanda and Orrin, together and learn and mature into smart and confident adults, still asking us what we would do in certain situations. I'm so happy that we experienced all the milestones that, they, that have happened to them so far in life, from their proms, to graduating college, to all their firsts. Their first home, their first car, their first job as professionals, their first puppies. Diane and I are so proud of them. You know, Oren's always been a great friend, always be there for you, no matter what. Call him any time of the day, and I really appreciate that. No matter what, he was always there for not only me, but anybody. And Amanda, you've been so welcoming to me and your friend group. I don't even know where to go. Thank you, I appreciate it. You've been so open arms. Whenever I need someone to come down and visit, you're always there. And I couldn't ask for two better friends. And toast to Mr. and Mrs. O'Sullivan. first thing you said to me has and always will stick with me. Hi, I'm Amanda, and I'm going to change your life. That was the first promise you made to us, one which you have kept tenfold, so I'd like to make some promises to you. I promise to continue cherishing and embracing all of life's changes, to always strive to be a better partner today than I was yesterday, to give my unwavering support in all you do, and to always be your biggest supporter to love you wholeheartedly in good and bad without hesitation or reservation. And to rewatch our shows when you say I'm not sleeping halfway through. You are now and forever my best friend, the love of my life, and soon my wife. Warren, I am not yours and you are not mine. We are simply each other's. It feels like we have known each other our whole lives and I'm so glad that I've already gotten to spend so much of this lifetime with you. On our first wedding anniversary, a year from today, we will have loved each other for longer than we lived without each other. Most people have to figure out how to transition into adulthood by themselves. We were fortunate enough to have a partner by our sides through it all. Growing up with you, sharing memories with you, and navigating all these phases of life together is something I will never take for granted. I feel so lucky to be alive at the same time and in the same corner of the globe as you. You are everything to me. You are in the books that I read, the movies I watch, and the songs that I listen to. Everything comes right back to us and reminds me of you. I cannot imagine a life without you in it, because what is the point in even having a heart if not to love you with it? I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. <laughs>